Good morning, everyone, and welcome back into North Dakota Today. The month of October was declared by Congress in 2004 to be Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Each October, the public and private sectors, as well as tribal communities, work together to raise awareness about the importance of cybersecurity. Today, Deb Mathern, a volunteer with AARP North Dakota, is here to share some insights into cybersecurity and discuss how to best protect ourselves. Welcome, Deb. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. It's such a shame that cybersecurity is such an issue that it requires a whole month of awareness, but this is truly a problem. Do you want to tell us more? It really is. The statistics are sobering, Sophia. 47% mm -hmm. uh, of American adults have had their personal information exposed by criminals, cyber criminals. And one in three homes with computers are infected with malicious software. And 65% of Americans who went online received at least one online scam offer. Now, hackers don't need to know how much is in your bank account to want to get into it. They just want to do so and identify your financial data, what's in your emails. That's all valuable. And they cast a wide net to get anyone that they can. So everyday con artists are looking for their best marks and don't let it be you. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, our world is increasingly digital and increasingly interconnected. So it's going to take all of us to really protect the systems that we rely on and the, protect the people that we care about in our home. Absolutely. Well, the statistics that you mentioned are so high. How can people truly yeah. protect themselves and look out for others? Yeah. Well, let's be cyber smart. So cyber scams are nothing new. Let's start with the basics of cyber hygiene, easy and common sense ways to protect yourself online. The best one first, enable the two factor authentication for logins on websites that offer it. And that's where when you sign on, they'll send you a text, an email or a phone call to make sure that it's you before you complete your sign in. Second, make sure your protective software and your operating systems on all your devices remain updated and you can set those updates to happen automatically. That's wise to do. At my former job, I hired a company to attempt to hack and assess our vulnerability and I got written up for not having my music software updated. Wasn't using it, so I didn't realize that was making my computer vulnerable. Next, understand the risk on clicking on links, any links, because they usually start with a phishing email or a text contain containing a malicious link. And lastly, use strong and unique passwords for every, every website and then store them securely. All right, talking about those passwords, what is really the best approach to creating a good one? Don't think of your password as a game of Scrabble. Think of it as the opposite. I am a big advocate of using phrases and I'm gonna give you, it's easier to remember. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. Just something as simple as one for me, two for you, exclamation, question mark. You know, it's something, it's a phrase that you're gonna remember and people aren't gonna think of that, the scammers won't. Please avoid names of pets and children and anniversaries and birth dates. Those are so easy to find online. Don't repeat your passwords, even though it might allow you to do so every two or th second or third time. Um, use special characters, change your password frequently, and remember, longer is better. So what if you're someone like me who has a little issue remembering these passwords? How would you really recommend someone to store them? Well, I hate to tell you that I keep a little notebook, but if you have a, a safe spot in some little notepad um, online or whatever that is not accessible to others, that might be a good spot. Okay, that is good to know because I do oftentimes have trouble remembering those, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this has all been such great information, but I know that you have one more tip for our viewers. I do. The more you're prepared, the better off you are to protect yourself. So stay up to date with the AARP's Fraud Watch Network, and you can go online at www.aarp.org backslash Fraud Watch Network. Or if you have been a victim of fraud, we really would like you to call the Fraud Watch helpline, and that's 1-877-908-3360. Remember, be a fraud fighter. If you can spot a scam, you can stop a scam. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Deb. Thank you.
Of course. All right, everyone, stick around. We have much more coming up on today's show here on North Dakota Today.